Howdy folks, just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the new persistable object component. So this component allows you to quickly add kind of an on-off save state to things like items and enemies, uh, which will persist for the duration of a game. So what I mean there is, for example, if you collect an item and it has this new persistable object component on it, then that item will no longer appear if you exit the scene and come back. Or even if you die, it only gets reset on game over. Uh, and this can be applied to items, to enemies, so it'll track if they're dead or not. Uh, it can be applied to platforms if they're activated or not. It can be applied to doors if they're open or not. And you can also extend it to apply it to your own objects. Uh, note that it really only tracks on and off. There is one field for extra data, but it doesn't track things like positions. So it's a very simple system, but it works quite well in a lot of contexts. Now let's take a look. This is just alien sample level 1.1. I'm just going to grab all the items. And you see, this is what it would have looked like if I hadn't have done anything. So I'm now going to just re-add persistable object. So when you add it, it automatically generates a unique ID for the object. And we have a few options for how we handle it. So activate, deactivate, turns on and off the game object. Destroy, will destroy the object if it's been used. Send message allows you to do your own simple customizations without writing any code. Platform is activate, deactivate, platform and door is open, close door. Anyway, so just adding that component, leaving the default activate, deactivate. No need to set a target. You can set a target if you want to use a different object to the one that the persistable object is on, but for now we'll leave it like this. Hit play. We'll collect a few coins. And now we'll die. Oh, something else we'll have to do first. So by default, the alien character just respawns, it doesn't reload the level, so let's change that to reload scene. Clear all the prefs again. Collect a few coins and die, and we're going to reload the scene. And we'll notice that even though the scene has been reloaded, the coins are gone. And if I start the game again, the coins are still gone. That's it. You just attach that component, and that one will just work out of the box. Same for enemies. So let's just deactivate the snails. Just grab these enemies and we're just going to add this persistable object component. Again, nothing else we need to do. So if I kill this enemy, kill this enemy, and then die, we'll see that the enemies are gone even though I've reloaded the scene. And although we've been looking at dying to reload the scene, the same thing happens if you enter and exit the scene. So the snail's not there. The coins we've already collected are not there. So this time we're on alien level 1-3. What I'm going to do, what I've already done, is add the persistable to the key object. I'm also going to find the door here which uses the key, which is door 3A. What I'm going to do is I'm going to consume the key when we unlock the door. So when the door is opened, we're going to add an action. Consume item. We'll copy the key type. So what we're doing now, we're going to save the key state, but we're going to consume the key when we open the door. This is going to cause us a problem, because if we unlock the door, thus consuming the key, so we no longer have the key and then die, we're going to respawn, the door will be locked, and we can no longer get the key. So to fix this, we've also got to find the door, 
and make the door persistible. So again, we add that same persistible object component, but we'll just set the type to door. One other change, we want to set the default state to disabled. So with the door, enabled means open, but this door starts locked, so we're just going to tick this box. So let's clear all the prefs, start again. Collect the key, unlock the door, die. You see we respawn, but this time the door is still open. And that's just like the items that'll work if we change levels or do anything else and it gets reset on game over. So if I die three times, start again. We'll see, we're back, we can't go through the door. We need to collect the key. And now we can unlock the door and again, that'll be saved.